All right, so I just thought I'd make this extra video because fresh off the back of some XLM analysis, I realized that there's probably something I'm missing here. And I would say that it's, I'd be pretty close to the actual count ahead of time if I just apply that same knowledge here. And although XLM and Bitcoin are different kettles of fish, they've still got one thing they need to do. They need to break a certain level. And for Bitcoin, that would be the all time high, right? Now this goes back to one of the things that I always say about wave threes is that the corrections expand to the upside and that is part of why they are so long apart from the fact that they're the longest wave, the strongest wave, a lot of the corrective components also expand to the upside. That's my understanding, right? So what does that mean here? Well, that means that once again, I may have been wrong. I may have been wrong about this count down here, right? That move that looks like a wave C or that I said was a weird wave C, it might just be a zigzag wave A, right? Yes, the last wave was small, the first wave was large, but that doesn't mean anything really. Um, I think that all that means is that there's a lot of upward pressure. So that means that D wave, we haven't seen it yet. And the same thing is happening with XLM, I believe, right? So the B wave was up here, the C wave, was the move down, right? Wave one ended up here. Okay, now these waves are very tiny, hard to understand, but this makes a lot of sense. A, B, C, and the D will be ongoing. That's what I think is happening, right? So in basically what that means is that if we get this, we, we have the first part of, of a D wave, right? now internal corrections can expand. That's what happened in wave two. That, that's what that big wave was. I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that to you in a sec, right? If you haven't seen that video, I'll link some videos down below so you can see about this sort of thinking, right? Corrective, corrective waves expand and D waves are known for being breakout waves, right? according to RS wave, right? So let me let me continue here. So wave two, we won't see that until we break the highs, okay? You're probably thinking, that's weird. How can wave two go so, this is why wave threes are so long, right? Because these types of things need to happen first before you get that breakout wave three to the moon scenario, right? So what, what is this down here then? I think what, what it is, is an ABC. I would say that there's a big chance there's an ABC. The D and the E for the internal structure, we haven't, we haven't really seen that yet, right? This is gonna play out over time. We're gonna find out what that looks like shortly. Um, but this doesn't look like a wave one, two. It just doesn't, right? Um, that's my opinion, right? You can, you can argue with that if you want, it doesn't matter. The point is that we have not seen the end of wave two and we won't see it until we move higher. So what does that look like? I suppose let's go to the four hour chart, right? Uh, actually let's go to the daily chart for a moment, right? Let, let's go to all time high, right? So forget that these these levels for now. Let's think about all time high, right there. Um, okay, so let's just say all time high. We need to get there. How are we going to get there from current levels, right? So that's a pretty you know it's a pretty decent whack till you get there, but it's it's not. It's not out of this world crazy, right? It's, you know, like 
just under 20,000, right? Now that's pretty freaking insane. Insane what I just said, that that's insane. Okay, anyway. The point is that the pattern that's unfolding right now, okay, I'll just get back to where I was, sorry. It doesn't look like a wave one. It doesn't look like a wave one, two, one. It doesn't look like that. So XLM is going to do something similar. It's going to grind higher. Now, whether or not this grinds higher or whatever, I do think that it will produce an expanded correction that keeps, it just keeps moving higher, right? The D wave can start to basically grind up and it may look impulsive even, right? So where does that really put support level for this move and that would be back that would be back down at the at the end of c wave right um to be completely safe that's where i believe it would be right All right so you'd be down you'd be going long and you'd be basically expecting price action to get you know, violently sharp, except we don't know what that's going to look like at this point, right? You, you might notice that it's sharp. You might, you might realize it doesn't look, it looks kind of strange, but if you keep the trade on at the larger degree, it will look sharp, right? Because, because this thing's moving at a, an, in, an at an increasingly more rapid speed. So even corrective patterns, you probably won't even you probably won't even notice the difference, right? Unless you're really ridiculously OCD about the, the waves like I am, you may not notice crazy difference, right? So if we just kind of <laughs> try to squish it up for a moment, basically what it's got to do is create a wave D within here, a wave D within a wave D that will eventually lead to that price pop to break that high, which would then be the end of the D wave, right? I know that sounds weird, but I've seen weirder, th I've seen Bitcoin do weirder things before, right? So basically it's the D wave would end somewhere here. Maybe you get your E wave and then you'd get that, that final pop up. Right, so you'd get the B ending here. Uh, right, and then you'd get your, your C wave thrust to break out. And then you'd get that, that kind of, you know, rejection with the an E, and then you'd get your wave two. That'd form a new level of support because to be honest with you, there is no, real level of support anywhere here okay the only level of support you're going to have is the beginning of the d wave until it completes so basically you'd be trading from this level here until we've complete the wave d more than likely gonna break the high and then get rejected right so it's still a pretty cool a pretty a pretty cool move pretty cool trade um but it's it's just a different way to look at it, I suppose. This is my theory, could be wrong, but given the price uh, action that I'm seeing here, it doesn't really look like a real wave one, two scenario going on. And and I get, I get suspicious of that type of thinking, especially when it doesn't look like it. And I do know that D waves are breakout waves. So this thing will just pop up, you know, over time, maybe another week, few days I don't, I don't know but if you're trading this up now you're literally trading the internal correction of a wave d right which is gonna look weird when you do it because you you may not see uh like a th wave three type thing in the middle and you're like what the hell is this but it's still going up so who cares right uh i don't know that's just my opinion it's, it's pretty funny but i suppose when you when you, when when are we going to see the real wave three? Well, after this happens, as soon as we break out, rejection, 
and then you're going to get that real wave three spike up price action. I mean, if we're going to three thousand, three hundred thousand dollars, or roughly, well, you, we, we've got to we've got to uh, start shifting gears, right, into faster movement, and that, I think that's going to be a third of a third wave, right? Now, if you think this is crazy, I'm out of my mind. Well, guess what? This is the type of thing that happened back here anyway, right? This is what happened down here, according to my analysis. It went A, B, C, D, E. Now, what the hell was it doing at that point? If it's a breakout wave or whatever, what was it breaking out of? Like, let, let's just zoom out for a second and see if we can see anything that it was trying to break out from. Was it a previous high, maybe? Right, that area of importance right there was it was it trying to do that? Was that what was that was that considered a breakout wave for some reason? Uh, a breakout level for some reason? I don't I have no idea. Right, all I know is that that was a long ass D wave, and D waves can extend higher. Did did it dip down much? Not really. It didn't dip down much at all. So at the smaller degree, which is also a wave two, right? I think it's going to do the same thing. Okay. Now, this is just my observation from observing waves. Could be completely wrong. But pay attention to this move as it goes up to the all time high and see what it looks like. And we'll, we'll touch back on this uh, once we see it happen. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.